Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can get the parry shield, what is hidden at the end of the stealth village, and the punishment, what is locked behind the door in the clock tower. Welcome, I am Xanders from GameScript Network, where we are obsessed to help you out with your games, and we're standing here in the stealth village, and you will need two villager keys, the ram rune and the spider rune, in order to get the parry shield. So first, you can see that you need to be bypassing this door, what is opened with a village key, but there are only two keys in the level. So you get the first key in the building, then go to the side of it and jump on the platforms and go up. I will see that there is a hidden path to bypass the door, but you need the spider rune in order to climb up. So after you bypass the door, get to the second village key and go to the end of the level, get on the elevator and jump to the right and break the ground floor to get to a building where you use the village key to unlock the door and get the parry shield. And to get back, you go on the platforms and break the ground floor again and then you are back at the elevator. What the parry shield does is that it cannot be held up permanently, but grenades and shots you will send back with increased power. And the parry shield scales with survival. Now for the punishment, what is locked behind the door in the clock tower, where you will need the bell tower key to open, a, open it. And how to get this key is kind of tricky. You need to find four bells within the level and ring them from low tone to high tone. And the key will fall out of the bell if you complete the cycle. Best is to complete the level and beat every enemy and then find all four bells and remember where, where they are. So you can easily teleport back to them when you're done with the level. So the bells look like this. And the first thing you want to do is to turn down the in-game music and increase the other sound so you can hear the bells more clearly. If you have trouble hearing the bell sound, you could maybe use headphones, but I could use it, I could hear it from my monitor speakers, so you can hear the different tones pretty good. But the lowest tone and the highest tone are really good to hear, but the tones in the middle, you have to listen good to hear the difference or just try switching them in your cycle if you're not sure. But now I'm going to show you the cycle from lowest to highest, so you can hear how the bells sound. So that is how you get the bell tower key. Now go back to the door so you can pick up the punishment. What the punishment does is that blocking enemy attacks will damage all nearby enemies and if you get a successful parry, the damage will critical hit. And the punishment will scale with your survival. That is how you get the parry shield and the punishment. And guys, one other thing, don't forget to turn on your game in-game music sound when you're done with ringing the bells.
So that wraps up this quick video. I thank you guys for watching. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want more gaming videos like this one, then you can subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. But that is it for today. I catch you guys next time. Thank you.